When trekking through the wilds of Chiang Mai province, it's advisable to carry a good strong stick with you. Not only is it a great aid in hiking up mountainous terrain, but it's also useful for discouraging attacks by rabid dogs as you pass through the hill tribe villages. One of the best available is the Burmese Army Trekking Stick, invented by Sir Geoffrey Hill Pig Smythe. As a child, he was described as overweight, a bad athlete and a poor student. His only redeeming quality, according to his teachers, was that he was polite. However, he was dogged by failure in every field of human endeavor that he pursued until his life took a turn for the better when he was drafted into the army during World War II and sent to Burma. It was here that he designed the Burmese Army Trekking Stick. Dennis Brown arrived in Thailand from England in 1973. He'd heard of his fellow countryman and decided to check him out, but ended up inheriting a factory in Chiang Mai, run by Sir Geoffrey's descendants, that manufactures, among other things, replicas of Sir Geoffrey's famous invention. One of our best-selling lines is our Burmese army trekking stick here. You can see it's made of mature baby bamboo. It is uh, able to come into two pieces, which makes it easy for tourists to take out of the country and packs easily into someone's knapsack when trekking. Uh, from World War II, we have moved forward to modern times. We now produce the iPhone dock, which is made purely from recycled teak taken from old houses, fence posts and other things. The trekking stick was the pinnacle of an undistinguished career. Feeling that he had achieved all that he was going to achieve in this life, he mysteriously disappeared during an early morning walk in 1944. In actual fact, he had grown weary of a military life and just wanted to get away from it all. Many Thai people are quite partial to a glass of Sang Som and soda with a dash of lime juice. Another of Dennis's inventions is this teak wood lime squeezer, which when not in use squeezing limes for drinks, can be pressed into service producing a cure for those having a bad hair day. We also produce the lime squeezer, which as well as being able to produce lime for your Mekong and soda is good for taking the juice from kaffir limes, which is used to put on your hair for 10 minutes and then rinse off, which leaves your hair soft. Over the years, stories of Sir Geoffrey's exploits, such as this one about him leading bands of rebels through the steaming jungles of Burma on elephant back, have found their way into various blogs and websites, keeping hopes that he still lives alive. Uh, he's been claimed to be seen in the jungles on elephants. He's been seen in Switzerland training the Swiss Navy. We have Japanese gentleman who claims that he went to school with Hilpig Smythe. We have many, many other claims by Americans who love this man and would love to really find him, even down to recently where a group of people now want to go and try and trace Hill Pig's life all the way through as a holiday. If they find him, they could be in the running for a cash reward of £25 sterling, which was offered in return for information regarding Sir Geoffrey's whereabouts. This was offered in 1994 when Queen Elizabeth knighted Sir Geoffrey in absentia for his contributions to the British war effort. Meanwhile, his contributions to life in the new millennium roll on. Another of our more recent products is our foot file, which has abrasive paper on two sides, which is used to remove hard skin and calluses from your feet. The 
skin removed can be tapped and removed from the file after use. From an overweight, non-athletic, poor-performing student, he turned to writing while trying to drown his sorrows in the demon drink. While in this alcoholic haze, he wrote and self-published two books, Sticks and Stones and Mud Puddles and Other Outrages. Sadly, neither was destined for literary fame and disappeared into obscurity. However, Sir Geoffrey managed to eventually rise above these failures and create a business that is still proudly serving humanity today. Another useful product we produce is our towel holder, which holds mats, papers and towels. By lifting the item in behind the little marble, the paper is held firmly in. If I lift it up and sideways, it comes out. This is screwed onto a wall and is elegant in any home. Maybe he is still alive. However, it's more likely that his bones lie in a remote jungle grave, mourned by his faithful elephant. His trekking stick, a tribute to yet another Southeast Asian eccentric. If you'd like to own a piece of Hill Pig Smythe memorabilia, check out Dennis's website, www.teaklimey.com.